everyone welcome back to another video from somos biology in this video lecture i am going to uh, really make the topic hello everyone welcome back to another video from somos biology where i make the concepts easy for you one such concept is hardy weinberg principle or hardy weinberg equilibrium so whatever you call it uh, there are students who ask me this question how to remember all the five parameters of hardy weinberg equilibrium because we know the hardy weinberg equilibrium will only be maintained if five important parameters are fulfilled if the parameters are not fulfilled hardy weinberg equilibrium will not be maintained so how exactly you understand and remember all these five parameters how they are related to hardy weinberg principle how they related to uh, the understanding of population's evolution so we'll talk about everything today and i'm going to give you a trick a mnemonic with which you can understand the hardy weinberg principle within 5 minutes yes within 5 minutes and to prove my point i will take this timer i'll use the countdown and we use the countdown for 5 minutes for you so the timing started here at this side it will be minimized to the bottom here so you can see so let's start with it so what we intend to talk here today is the hardy weinberg hw principle hardy weinberg principle that's what we are going to talk about hardy weinberg principle in hardy weinberg principle what is stated is that the it's always dealing with the allele frequencies right the allele frequencies the allele frequency we are talking about and what we mean by the allele frequency is that the allele frequency of a population will not change over time this allele frequency from generation so let's say generation 1 to let's say generation 2 it will not change this will not change this will not change okay if if and only if five parameters five parameters are maintained okay so what is the allele frequency in very simple terms i can tell you the allele frequency is nothing but uh, there are two alleles there is a dominant allele and obviously there is a recessive allele right the dominant allele let's say uh, we write it as per the hardy weinberg we write it as uh, p and recessive allele we write it as q and as per their uh, formula that is p plus q equals to 1 it will remain the same so we can simply write as p plus q whole square equals to 1 or we can simply rearrange it p square plus 2 pq plus q square equals 1 so this is the hardy weinberg principle straight forward simple there is no big deal about it okay so now what i am going to talk about is basically how exactly this hardy weinberg is maintained what are the five parameters for which the hardy weinberg will be maintained so i'll start here with this parameter so the easy way to remember this is this mnemonic ramu na mila ramu na mila all can easily understand this ramu na mila if you know ramu na mila you can easily remember what we mean by all this parameter so starting with the first one ramu ra so this is random mating okay first parameter random mating the second parameter i am talking about mu mutation okay the third parameter na natural selection natural selection the fourth parameter mi migration and the fifth parameter is la you remember anything related to la large population size so these are the five important parameters as per this uh, five parameters if are undisturbed or maintained the same then the allele frequency from one generation to the next generation will also be the same as per hardy weinberg law or hardy weinberg principle so if there is random mating between the organisms if there is no mutation if there is no natural selection if there is no migration that means no immigration no emigration and if the population size is large this five parameters 
will not allow the frequency of allele to change remember if there is random mating then it will not be changed if the mating pattern is specific uh, based on some senses like uh, selection then it can change if mutation is there it can change if natural selection is there it can change if migration is there it can change if the population size is very small then it will not follow the hardy weinberg law or hardy weinberg principle that is the idea about hardy weinberg principle and if this allele frequency remains the same there is no evolution remember no evolution that's it no evolution so how to remember hardy weinberg principle easily ramu na mila all the five parameters are mentioned in here if you remember that you will never ever forget hardy weinberg principle what does that signify and you know the allele frequencies will remain conserved with time so i rest my case i still have 20 seconds to spare i already taught you the hardy weinberg principle how to remember hardy weinberg principle and hardy weinberg law within 5 minutes so we'll wait for 7 6 5 4 3 Two, one, tada! Right. So that's it. It's over. I'll close it down. So this is all about Hardy-Weinberg principle. If you like this video and you want to know more about this mnemonic series, then hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and mention that in comment section that you like this kind of videos. So we'll make more videos of this kind in future. Thank you. Bye.